Good morning, YouTube. Uh, welcome to the channel. Today, I am going to go and buy a stupid car. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, I'm Josh, and uh, we bought another car. So, I'm going to fly to Little Rock today and uh, drive it back. Well, I haven't actually bought it yet. I'm going out there to look at it, but it's a cheaper kind of cool car that I've always liked. It's a Honda S2000. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I haven't had one in a while. I've had several over the years. One of my favorite cars. So anyways, we're going to fly out there. Dan already kind of made a deal with the guy, so I'm hoping the car's not a total piece of crap. I'm expecting some stuff on it because it's a Honda S2000. None of them are perfect. I'm trying to keep my expectations low, so we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to drive to the airport, jump on a plane, and then drive it back. Hopefully, I'll be back by like 2 a.m.-ish if everything goes well so uh yeah we'll see how it goes six and a half hours later how's it going everybody i made it to little rock got an uber from the airport which was a nightmare seller of the, this car told me that they had issues there and i was like yeah whatever but i it took like 45 minutes to get a ride to his apartment so i went to his apartment checked out the car Honestly, a little bit disappointed. I'll go over that. Decided to do the deal anyway. It's freaking cold here. He didn't want to be on camera, so I respected that, and I just did the deal and left, and I just came to this random apartment building. I'll show you the car real quick. But yeah, so we got the deal done. We're gonna head back home soon. It's got some issues on the steering wheel leather right there. Um, it does have a new top, so that's good. Um, the seat is pretty worn, as you can see right there. You know, the interior is not bad. Uh, for the small distance that I did drive it, it drives pretty good. It's got an aftermarket radio um, that I'll connect my phone up to. It is freaking cold here. There's actually, there's no snow here, but the place where I picked the car up, there was snow on the ground. So it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, this car has a ton of paintwork. Fenders, hood, the hood's kind of faded. It was frozen earlier, but I was able to drive it around a little bit, I guess, and thaw it out. But. Yeah, the whole paint, the whole hood's been painted, both fenders, the bumper color doesn't match too great. The wheels are, have some clear coat peeling on them and stuff. Not great. It's typical S2000 though, they're all kind of beat up a little bit. The top is in good shape, that's one good thing. The tops go bad on these and they suck. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed, you know. But it happens, you know, and I'm all the way out here, I'm not going to just... I, I did consider renting a car and driving home, but I'm not going to do that. I think I can fix the car up pretty well and, and sell it. So anyways, I'm going to uh, start heading home. All right, we're on the road, headed back to Texas. Uh, GPS says I have about eight hours. The car seems to drive pretty good. Yeah, Drive-wise, no complaints. Like I said before, it's got a bunch of cosmetic stuff that I wasn't real happy about, but you know, it is what it is. I seriously contemplated telling him no or offering him less uh, and then renting a car and driving back or just going back to the airport to see if I could catch a flight but uh, I just decided against it it just wasn't worth the hassle I think I can I'll still be okay on this car uh, it still is mechanically very nice you just got to fix the cosmetic stuff yeah I got a long drive ahead of me it says I'm gonna get back at 12.08 a.m. so we'll see how close I can come to beating that I'm gonna stop somewhere and get dinner and obviously fuel stops and whatever. I have no complaints about the ride and drive on this car other than it's loud, but I expected that because it's a convertible and I'm doing about 90, so. Ooh, you better believe that's a bad one. It's loud outside. The roads in Arkansas are not good. At least towards Little Rock, there's a lot of construction going on and the roads are pretty terrible. I'll catch back up with y'all in a little bit. Just checking in. Uh, six hours, 45 minutes left. And we're driving through Arkansas still. It's real pretty here. Lots of big trees and stuff. It's bitterly cold outside. This car is old school. It does not have an outdoor temperature gauge. So I don't know how cold it is, but I'm guessing it's in the 20s. It's really pretty here. And the car's doing well. So far, so good. Sorry, it's uh, dark. <clears throat> so you're probably not gonna be able to see me, but just now crossing over the border, get back to the Texas. I think I got like five and a half hours left. I wish Texas wasn't so big. It's pretty annoying. Um, the car's running great though. Everything's going pretty good. Welcome to Texas. Oh, there's, there's my welcome. There's the sign right there. It feels good to be home. <laughs> Even though I still have five hours left. Just kind of going over what I'll have to do to it in my head to make it right for, for whoever ends up buying this thing. 
I'm probably going to drive it for a little bit myself. I have a soft spot for the S2000, like I've said before. I've had five or six of them. They're great cars. For being such a small car, uh, tall people fitted them really well. The seat goes back pretty good. I, I don't have a problem at all uh, fitting in here. Um, even with the top down, or the top up, I mean, um, I've still got some headroom. But anyways, uh, yeah, catch back up with you later. All right, everybody made it home. Uh, it's about one in the morning, so not bad. I made pretty good time. So yeah, I'll show you guys the car tomorrow and we'll talk more about it. The next day. All right, everybody, we made it back. Here's the car and all its glory. It's in our shop. I was really disappointed initially uh, when we got it back because the paint was in terrible shape um, and there was some other stuff. So as soon as I got back, I called my boy, Edwin, um, who does our, um, he does like some buffing for us and does some leather work and whatnot. And he was able to get that hood looking fresh again. Um, it was real dull. Um, the fenders were the same way. They were terrible. There was a little spot on the door here. He got that. Um, I think I showed you the seat before, but he was able to re-dye that seat. We got the steering wheel all redone. So, you know, it's a really good driver's quality car. There's still some stuff on the wheels you can see right there. So we'll get that fixed. You know, we're gonna clean this thing up. Um, I gotta get Dan to drive it because he's never driven an S2000. So I think he's really gonna enjoy it. Keep an eye out for more videos on this car. Like, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, check us out, normalguyssupercar.com and ngsupercars.com. Thank you.